none of it means anything. I kind of thought it was a low budget film to begin with. It was just like another job except you look weird. I got dressed in the costume, they put bits on it. I thought, cool, this looks good. There wasn't a lot of certainty as to what it would be. I had an invite to go for lunch with Alec Guinness. And we used to go and sort of practice the fight together, like kids fighting in the back garden. And I was like, holy shit, look at this, what's going on? How many actors can say that they've got their own action figures? I said, how, George, how do you want me to play this? He said, well, play it like they do in the movies. Took the afternoon off, up to Pinewood Studios, and knock on the door. So then within another week, I got a call to be in Star Wars. And you become friends. But I just treat everybody the same. I really didn't have that driving ambition to succeed. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong. Star Wars is my main source of income. It's better than sitting on your ass waiting for all the heat to overtake you. You don't want to be classified just as an ex-X-Wing pilot. It's a piece of us, or it's a piece of, you know, what, our, what somebody's life is. And I was in with the helmet on and walking around and then finally stopping with George Lucas. He said, welcome aboard. It's not a big role, but I think you'll have some fun. You kind of just go, you know, move on, you know. As the Sand Trooper says, move along. <laughs>